think about if there is a background, is there's a relationship between your background and your objects? Is the background darker or lighter? If it's lighter, as it was in the drawing I did this afternoon, then, you know, just indicate the edge of what it's sitting on or where it's lying. And in this case, it was all against this white paper and white board. So I'm going to make all this, I would make all this kind of white or soft white. Yeah, that okay? makes sense. I'll do that, yeah. Upside down might be useful because you could actually draw your the bottom of your tin opener as a sort of upside down curve like that. And then it's got its sides that come like this. Has it not? Yes. Now, when I turn that back, it definitely looks curvy, doesn't it, at the bottom here, would you say? Yes. And I think that's what you need to do. You need to get the bottom of that tin yeah. opener really nice and curvy. Okay. Yeah. Now your your tin, again, I think you could almost push, well, you might push the bottom of your tin opener back a bit more by just bringing it up a bit on the page. So if I take that away, I mean, this, as I say, this is what's good about charcoal. You can just rub it out and it's gone. Unlike pencil, which is harder to get rid of. And then you've got your, I can't remember, it's your tin to one just in front of it, isn't it? So you've got your tin here like this. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Not very good tin, not very good uh, opening, but anyway. Um, and again, as I said to you, if you just move the bottom of the bottom curve up a bit on the page, so there's at least a good inch, if not two inches, between the bottom and the edge of your paper. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, you wouldn't see that bit you, because that there's the tin in front of your tin opener. And then the big tin opener comes like this. I'm not quite sure how it goes, but anyway, you've got it something like this, haven't you? Yeah. With its mechanical bits. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. So just all I'm saying is the placing of those bottom curves is really quite critical. You want to have a little bit of space between, you know, the, the bottom of the tin opener and the bottom of the can and the edge of your paper. Yes. You don't want them right on the edge if possible.
I'm using a paper towel to soften the graininess of my white chalk when I put it on the page as a background. So I lay it on first and then I soften it with the paper, with a bit of paper towel. Remember, don't fill every last bit of your shape in. Leave plenty of the actual paper uh, itself to work with the line or tone that you've used. And I use, I mean, I know Sal's got blenders and maybe some of you have got blending sticks, but if you haven't, uh, I find if you use your fingers carefully and gently, you can soften, soften things with your fingers. And it, it seems to work.
not take me anywhere. I don't even know if you can see, but I'm leaving lots and lots of white paper, uh, of the blue paper. I'm just going to go in a bit closer so you can see a bit better. Uh, but can you see here with the corkscrew? This is all the paper. And there's a bit of darker, which is the charcoal, inside the bottom of the, the where the twisty, you know, this screwy bit is. Uh, but I'm really not filling much in. I'm trying to be very circumspect about how I use my charcoal uh, and allowing the paper to work for me as well. I mean, obviously, I need it to, to find some of the shapes and edges of the gort screw. Um, but essentially, most of it is just paper. Well, you've got reflective surfaces, so that's... Yeah, it does help. It does help, uh, especially with charcoal, when you've got something that's already giving you tone. I mean, this, this ceramic bowl, you know, again, is a sort of shiny bowl, but it's got quite a lot of tone on the bottom here. But it, I think, you know, it's a case of looking at, at the light and the, what's light, what's dark, and letting them sort of play off each other, especially when you're using charcoal. You know, you kind of, you're simplifying things quite a lot, or you should be. Remember, you can use your charcoal and your white chalk on its side, not just on its end.
Okay, I think it's time for you to show me what you've been up to. I've included a little bit of my cast shadows and I haven't got around to the bottle and the bowl looks a bit wonky, but um, never mind. I think it will be, we'll come together. Oh, look at it again another time. Okay, 